Oh my god. I have so many lights. Bright lights on me right now. I'm like blinded by the light. It's it's actually hurting my eyes. Hey everybody. If you've been keeping up to date with what's been happening on my channel for the past week, you would then know that today is the final day of reaction week. Yeah! Or I guess I would be sad. So. Ooh. I guess. If you didn't know, I posted a reaction video every day this week. Yep, count them. So we're gonna end this crazy week, this crazy journey that we've all endured together. We're gonna end it by listening to Five Seconds of Summer's fifth album, their newest album that came out in 2022, Five Sauce Five. Unique title. I love it. Like four by One Direction. Like y'all are so creative. Yes, this album was released in 2022. Have I heard it? No. Also, I am a big fan of Five Sauce. Not as big as like One Direction, obviously. If I wasn't so devoted to One Direction, um, and I don't use that word lightly. I do mean devoted to One Direction at the time in like 2014. I feel like I would have been more focused on Five Seconds of Summer. Nonetheless, I still loved them and I love their music. Like I said, this album is called Five Sauce Five. We have 19 songs today. I feel like this is the longest album I've listened to probably since Taylor Swift's The Torture Poets Department. I am not going to this album completely blind. I have heard a few of the songs back when they came out. Pretty sure I've heard Complete Mess. I definitely have heard Blender. Probably some other ones, but I can't remember off the top of my head. So we're just gonna find out today, I guess. Both One Direction and Five Seconds of Summer, their music just got better with every single album. They just like kept outdoing themselves. This album is gonna be great. I'm very excited to hear it. Ah! I'm so excited to hear it. I love their music so much. Let me let me do a quick little disclaimer that I uh, feel like I need to do. I'm not a music professional. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm talking out of my ass. Like this right here, what you're watching right here is just for entertainment's sake, okay? I'm just gonna be sitting here listening to this music, giving you my initial thoughts and reactions, telling you what I like, what I don't like, and at the very end, I'll be giving you my top three off the album. Very casual, very chill. So um, with all that out of the way, let's get into it. We're gonna start with track one, Complete Mess. Ooh. Those, that note progression. Oh yeah. I forgot how good this was. Also, did I see that they released this album or like a bunch of their songs with like an orchestra? Cause if that's the case, I'm gonna need to hop on that cause y'all already know. Ooh, as my darkness turns to gold inside? Ooh, I like that lyric. Is this Callum? Unlike One Direction, I can't tell really who's singing when. Love that. Yes, like I said, I forgot how good that song is. I feel like I haven't listened to this, some of their new stuff in so long. Like even Calm and Youngblood, I feel like I haven't listened to those albums in a minute. So it's like, it's good to be, it's good to be back guys. It's good to be listening to these boys, yes. Complete mess, yeah, good, it's great. Not a complete mess, <laughs> complete banger. <laughs> All right, let's move on to track two. Easy for you to say, let's see. I forget they're Australian. Speaking of, do y'all remember when, was it Ashton who was in like randomly in a Casper Lee vlog like back in the day? Cause I think about that all the time. Stop. 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 Oh my god. I love that chorus. I feel like their lyrics are so subtly beautiful. Oh my god. I love that lyric. A piece of peace of mind. Ooh. I feel like this song is very perfectly encapsulating that feeling of nostalgia. I'm loving it. I love the feeling of nostalgia. Come on. Ooh. Ooh, I 
love the way that ended. It like built up and then just dropped. That was so good. Dare I say I like that more than Complete Mess. Oh my god, wait, I'm actually obsessed with that. I think I have a five sauce playlist. I'm gonna be adding those. I'm gonna need to come back to that one listen to that a couple more times and really sink my teeth into it because damn that was so good. Let's go on to track three, Bad Omens. Maybe I've heard this one. I don't know at this point. I don't know, we'll see. Oh. I don't think I like that instrument. Well, let's see what happens, what they do with this. Is this Luke? Because, guys, Luke, Luke might be my favorite. Oh, I have heard this one. Yeah, I have heard this one. Yeah. Oh, I love whatever is happening in the background there. Ooh. Okay, drums. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm like gonna freak out. This is so good. Oh, damn. Ooh, this is everything. Ooh, that, like, choir effect of their voices? Ooh. Wow. I have thoughts about this one for sure. I don't know, I feel like that song progressively got way better. Like, it didn't really hit for me until that very end instrumental. Ooh, when they brought in those string instruments, guys, I will never shut up about an alternative rock indie whatever song that utilizes a string instrument because it feels like such a stark contrast to like heavy drums or heavy guitars or what have you but the delicate nature of like a string like a violin or something just ooh, when done right ooh, it really gets me together Ooh, it's gonna send chills down my spine. I love it so damn much. Oh wow, I gotta hear that again. <sighs> Let me just... Cause that sounds like a guitar, but then it sounds like a violin or something. I literally feel like I'm floating out of my body listening to that. Okay, I have to move on because if I don't, then I'm gonna keep talking about the damn string instrument. And you know what? Y'all have heard enough from me and those damn string instruments. Track four, me, myself, and I. I think this is the most streamed one off the album. So let's see what the hype's all about. I guess I got what I wanted. I never knew what I needed. Ooh. Leave it up to me to fuck it up without a good reason. Yep. Me and my selfish appetite. Come on, Luke. I don't know if I like that. The la la la. I was just me, myself, and I. Yes, I guess I got what I Okay, I think I've heard a bit of this one before. Not obsessed with it. Ooh. Ooh, that's cool. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this one's fine. I don't feel like I'm connecting with any part of it that much. That one was fine. That one was really short, actually. It felt very short compared to the other ones. It was fine. Ooh, this album is so long. 19 songs, damn. But... Also, aren't they like going on a break to like focus on their lives and stuff as they should? Um, so I guess it would make sense for them to just like release a huge album before taking a hiatus. <laughs> All right, let's go to track five. Take my hand, Joshua Tree version. Ooh. I 
I feel like we are already getting lots of themes about nostalgia. And like this one's like, I guess looking back at your younger self, 17, I think. Maybe I'm reading into that incorrectly. Vocals are beautiful. Ooh, the layering there. So I'm always shifting, looking in the mirror. I'm assuming it's reflecting on like past self. Maybe not losing sight of your past self. Potentially, guys, I don't know. <laughs> Ooh, love that. Mm. I do like the lyrics of this one. Just as you're losing yourself again. So maybe I was right. Okay, this is interesting. Maybe it's to symbolize like the fading memories in your head. Like, Actually, I think the thing that I loved most about that one, the vocals are just gonna be great on every song. Okay, I know that. The I really liked the lyrics of that one. I feel like I can relate to that one. That one shocked me, okay? Cause I wasn't vibing at first. You could probably tell by the look on my face I wasn't liking that one, but it got better. I liked it. The more I listened to the lyrics and actually paid attention, I liked it. Let's continue. Let's go to track six, Carousel. New game. I built it from the ground up just to watch me burn it down. Oh. Yeah, lots of themes of like nostalgia and like looking back at your younger self. Ooh, love that. Whatever that is with the voice. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, that sounded like their debut a little bit. That was what that reminded me of. Kind of loving this. Okay. Ooh. Oh, whoa. I'm gonna say something crazy, actually. I don't think that this instrumental break was completely necessary for the song. I am gonna say another crazy thing, too. I think that a few of these songs are starting to sound similar just based on their structure. A lot of them so far have been like chorus, and then there's an instrumental break, and then like an isolated vocal effect in the end as it like fades out. And that's maybe not a bad thing if it, it, it's clearly working. I have not disliked one of these songs like they've all had good qualities let's move on to track seven older featuring sierra deaton let's give it a shot i don't something is not working for me here Dear Devoted Delicate. Oh, this is sad. I don't want to get older without your head on my shoulder on the day that you leave me. Stop. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I'm doing some research. I knew it. Sierra is Luke's wife. I was like, why does that name look so familiar? Dude, that makes this 10 times sadder. Stop. This is beautiful. That piano thing was weird. I'm really trying hard not to cry right now. <laughs> like, I just know I can't let myself do that, but this is, oh my God. I am loving this. Their voices sound perfect together. I've read a romance book today, like all in one sitting. It was like a lot. So like this in combination with that, which I of course sobbed my eyes out too because I might be a tad bit little like sensitive. Yeah, so we'll be crying to that later. <laughs> that was beautiful. Love that. Take back everything bad I was saying in the beginning. Don't know what the fuck I was saying then. Oh my God. Okay, before I like actually start crying, let's go on to the next song. Let's go on to track eight, Haze. Ooh. Ooh, wait, I think I've heard this one. Yeah, I'm ready. Mm. Ooh. 
Yeah. I mean, this is just solid, good. Ooh. I like this. This song, I just like, oh, it's so refreshing just to hear good music. You know what I mean? <laughs> what I like about this song is that it feels like a song. Older and then Haze? That's crazy. That was like the perfect follow-up song. So far, I'm really liking it. I don't know what my ranking is for their albums, honestly. I haven't given that much thought, but I might think about that after I listen to this album in full. Like, I don't even know what my favorite album from them is. That's crazy. Maybe it's this one. Who knows? Maybe it could be this one. I'm really liking it so far. Let's go on to track nine, our halfway-ish marker. Track nine, you don't go to parties. It's 5 a.m. clinging to my couch and everyone I ever knew was standing in my house. I still think Ooh. about the times we were heavy. Race horse tripping on the dirt that you got me. Whoa, that's so cool. Okay. Okay. I thought it was gonna build up to something. It's not bad though. Like, I still like this. Ooh, whoa. That? That? Nope. Ooh. <gasps> that was beautiful. This part is crazy. Like, whoa. Love it. This one's getting a little re repetitive. But there's nothing like bad about it. I mean, other from it being slightly repetitive, um, I like that one. It was pretty good. Not my favorite by any means, but still a very solid song. All right, let's go to the next one. Let's go to track 10, which is Blender. Oh my God. I feel like I remember this song the most when this album came out. Like people were really hyped up. So I have definitely heard this song and I definitely do like it. Ooh, I love that. Ugh. Yeah, classic. Mm. Yeah. That instrumental, killer. Ew, what the f That instrumental is cool. <laughs> I mean, that one I feel like is a classic Five Shaw song at this point. But you know what? I think I like this next one more from what I remember. Track 11. Okay, listen, I'm, a piss all I'm about to piss y'all off, okay? I am, because I'm gonna say it as caramel, even though it is most definitely caramel. But I'm gonna say caramel, because I'm annoying, and that's just how it comes out of my mouth naturally, so. Yeah. Oh, this one's so good. I feel like I listened to this recently. It like came on and oh my god, it's so good. Yeah. Ooh. So good. I can't remember if they say it in the song, so we'll figure out how they say it. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> I love this one. I really do. I don't think it's my favorite though. Like from the new ones I've heard tonight. So good, so good, so good. But like I was saying, I don't know if that's my favorite anymore. Cause some of the ones I've heard tonight for the first time were like kind of insane. And I don't know guys, I don't know what my top three is going to be. I really don't. Like it's really all up in the air. I have no idea. Let's go on to track 12. Best friends. <laughs> yes. Love to see it. Whoa. I love that. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I love everything that's happening right now. The vocals are so good. Like, that melody is so good. And the lyrics. Oh, Michael, let's go. 
He has such a perfect voice for like pop punk music. I love to love you. Just shut up. This one's gonna make me cry too. <laughs> oh my god. Like. Oh, I really liked that one. I loved that one actually. I got the best friends in this place. I was not expecting a lot of these to be like cutesy and like make me cry. Like, <laughs> let's go on to track 13, Bleach. I'm just thinking of that Brockhampton song. I'm like, okay. I don't know what this one could be about. <laughs> the title Bleach is really throwing me off considering how like cute the last song was. So um, I'm very curious. Let's listen to it. Okay. I'm liking this one. That part, that's cool. This one is very interesting. Ooh, whoa. Yes, end off on a good, like that, ooh, end off on that, yes. Hey. That one actually shocked me. I was like, I didn't know what to expect from that one, but I guess bleaching your hair makes the most sense. I don't know, my mind went to like the worst place. <laughs> like they're gonna talk about drinking bleach like after being all like cutesy. Like, that one again was solid. Like maybe not one of my favorites, but I do really like, I liked that one, yeah. Track 14 is called Red Line. Again, that sounds ominous. I don't know why, but it does. Oh. oh my god. Oh, I love it. Oh, I'm into this. I did not like that. I did not like like the the train or whatever sound effect though. I don't like I don't like that. <laughs> I didn't love the end instrumental. I feel like the instrumental at the end like wasn't my favorite. That one was okay. Let's go to track 15, which is mood swings. So let's see what happens with mood swings. I can tell by the look in your eyes yeah. Sorry if the angle changed, my camera decided to die. So that's awesome. We were just getting into a song that I was actually thoroughly enjoying. Nine seconds in and I was really liking it. I like need to hear where this is going, okay? Cause I'm liking this. Yeah. I love when they all sing together cause they sound so good. This melody and that instrumental. Ooh. I'm really liking this one. Hey. Yeah. 
Yeah, oh, I ate that one up. That one was so good. I like don't have any words. They're so strong when they harmonize with each other. Oh my god, it just sounds so good when they all sing together. Track 16, Flatline. Like, again, why does this sound so, like, ominous and, like, scary? Like... Oh, for a second it sounded like The Middle <laughs> by Jimmy Eat World. Okay. I'm vibing. Ooh! How could I forget about this one? I've heard this one. This one is so good. This one might be better than Caramel and Blender. Like this, oh my God. How could I forget about this one? I forgot how good this song is. Like I'm mad it's so good, you know? I don't have any five sauce on vinyl. I need to get on that. Cause like this, yeah. I'm vibing hard. I like I don't have anything else. That one is so good. I have nothing else to add. Like it's great. Three songs left, guys, and I'm feeling all these emotions. Oh my god. Guys, track 17. Also called emotions. That's crazy. Emotions. Let's go for it. Oh. Okay. I don't know. Okay, I'm intrigued. Oh. Yeah? This album, the more I listen to it, the more I'm feeling like it is just a collaborative album from all of them. Like they've each got like a few songs of their own. That's the impression I'm getting, which is very interesting. I'm not mad about it. I kind of like that. This one, I don't, I don't know if I'm loving this one. I'm just kind of bored. I wish this song was giving me more, I think. God, I hate to say that that one was a little boring, but wasn't vibing with that one. Uh, maybe this next one will win me back. We've got track 18, Bloodhound. I don't, I literally, this is, this album has not gone in the direction I was expecting. I think I was expecting more rock and what I'm getting is more like indie vibes, like indie alternative vibes. So let's see what what's happening in this one. I'm liking this one, guys. I'm liking this one. <laughs> I'm on board. I'm on board. I'm like kicking my feet. I'm like, yes, this one's so good. They really perfected their sound. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, for sure. No. No. Yeah. They're really gonna make it difficult for me to choose a top three. Like, how? I'm gonna say half the album at this point. Like, damn. Guys, we've made it to our final song. The final song of this album. The final song of Reaction Week. All right, I'm very curious to see how they're gonna end out this album. Because that last one was really good. We started off on a really good note. Also, track 19, Tears. Exclamation point. Ooh. 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 Shut up. What the f Yes. Yes! Oh, I love that. The like screaming. Yeah. 
Yeah. Oh my god. I'm dead. I'm deceased. A little bit repetitive, but otherwise, yeah. Yeah, it's so good. Oh my god. Uh, before I give you like my final thoughts and like wrap this video up, let me quickly go decide my top three and I'll come back and close out this video. Um, truthfully, this might have been one of the more difficult top threes I've had to pick because I picked a top three after much deliberation and I still couldn't rank them in their top three. And I also have four honorable mentions. That's unheard of for me. Like, I don't know why. I don't know. I just not. I can't. I just am so giddy with some of these songs. I feel like I've discovered like buried treasure. Like this is so good. Me acting like they're underground. It's literally five seconds of summer. Like I'm gonna start with the honorable mentions. Okay, honorable mentions. Shout out to Bloodhound, Flatline, Mood Swings, and Easy for You to Say. Those did not quite make it into my top three, but they were so freaking close and I was debating making this a top seven, but um, well, I guess I technically am because I'm still like mentioning the four. Anyways, moving on. Now onto my top three. Not in any order, not in any specific order. We've got one of my top three. It's gonna go to Haze. I mean, I had to, come on. And then another one of my top favorites is gonna be Older. This one, I am so excited to cry to. And then my final favorite off this album is gonna be Best Friends. I mean, it's so cute. Overall, I thoroughly enjoyed my time listening to this album. Many of them in retrospect probably do sound pretty similar. And there were a few that I didn't love, but some of these are so special and I love the lyrics of probably all of these songs. Like, I don't know, they've all got something special about them. This feels like a parting gift from them, you know, if they're gonna take this break and they're gonna be like one last thing before we take a bit of a break. And it's this, like, this is beautiful. Please let me know your thoughts on this album. Otherwise, that's the end of this video. I hope you liked my reaction. I hope you liked this video. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up. You can also subscribe down below for more videos from me. You can also go check out the other four videos I posted this week, the four other reactions I posted this week. All right, I'm gonna go and I'll see you later. Okay, bye.